And here we are. This is the Inherited Farm. This is Lucky in our character. We're here, Paleo Pines. Oh, Lucky, it's exactly how I imagined it. Well, maybe not exactly, but I mean, it's a little run down, but you're right, we'll make it work, definitely. I can't read. <laughs> Hold right button to dismount. That is adorable. Okay, now we... Whew, today was long, but we made it. Well done, Lucky. Press the left button to... There we go. Aw, the little horse. He's so cute. Here, let me grab you a treat. You must be hungry. Press I open inventory. Oh, we have a... Juicy Poppin'. Wait, you like Juicy Poppins? Can I? I'm right, I'm left clicking. Can I? There we go. Juicy Poppin'. Oh. <laughs> He's like, I'm so hungry. Sorry, girl, that was the last one. I know. Well, I didn't eat them all. Implying that he, that Lucky did. Okay, so here's Lucky's pen. What have you found, Lucky? Oh, it looks cozy, just like your old sleeping patch. There's even a dream stone. Yay! Speaking of sleeping patches, time for me to go find my own. Good night, Lucky. Oh, look, I can run. Except, uh, something's falling in front of the ladder. Maybe Lucky can help. Lucky, come here. Oh, sorry, Lucky. I know you're tired, but I need your help so I can sleep too. It'll be quick, I promise. Push Lucky and hold the left button. Oh, and we pop back up, and we get to run over here. Press the left mouse button to clear the debris. Lucky's good at that. Oh my goodness. Good job. Oh, we got seeds. Told you it'd be quick. Yes, I know. We do quick go. And then we press the right mouse button. Good night, Lucky. For real this time. Oh. Bye bye. Approach the ladder and press left. So, we're not going to write in our jar. We're just going to go to bed. That's adorable. <laughs> Morning, Lucky. <laughs> now, about breakfast. Well, hello. Aren't you an unexpected surprise? <laughs> I love that. See, Owen, sometimes you just gotta follow the tracks and see where they take ya. Oh my gums and tongues, Mara, are you seeing this? I, sw I see it, but I swear my blinkers are messing with me. Is that a real Parasolophorus? Parasorolophus. Parasorolophus, I think. Yes, what a beauty she is. See, I told you it was worth the rush. When I first spotted the tracks, I was so tempted to race after them, but no. I said to myself, Mari, you can't chase these without Owen, even if, even if it takes him an hour to get off all his things. <laughs> It wasn't an hour. No, you're right. More like two. Preparedness is important. Ah. Oh, anyway, it's a pleasure to meet you in your parasaurol office. You know, we haven't seen one since. Actually, we've never seen one. Never? Uh-oh. I hope you didn't come to Paleo Pines looking for herds of parasaurol offices galloping through the hills. <laughs> like he's a little upset. Now, now, hold on. They're definitely around, right? At least we think they are. Mary, you've seen tracks. Well, sure, but that's all I've ever seen. They show up from time to time, so they must be around here somewhere. Imagine a real parasaurol office living right here in Viridian Valley. Wait, you are planning on moving in, aren't you? Uh, double yes? 
<laughs> Yeehaw, new neighbors. Owen, do you bring anything with you that you could stand in for an, that could stand in for an impromptu housewarming gift? Oh, um, well, I only had time to pack what I thought was a spur of the moment field study. So like three of everything and enough clothes for a month. Uh, I happen to have just the thing. Really, Owen, one of your journals. Yes, just so happens I brought two blank ones in case we discovered something remarkable. And we did. Trust me, if you're starting a ranch, there's a lot you'll need to remember. Write it all down, you'll never forget. Actually, that makes sense. Here, I've got something for you too. A pocket full of herbivore food? Yeah, that's all I brought. Besides, that's a hungry looking parasol office. You can't exactly eat a journal. You'd be surprised. <laughs> I guess if you're hungry enough, paper and leather will look good in a pinch. That's some of the best herb herbivore food that shells can buy, courtesy of Corlin's Randoms and Abundance. If you're looking for more of that or anything else, Pebble Plaza should be your next destination. It's not far and it's got everything. Hey, make sure you meet Marlo. He'll get you anything you need to fix up this pen and the rest of your ranch. Owen, rude. What? Look at it. It's a mess. We'd better go. I'm sorry about Owen. What? What did I say? Hope to see you around sometime and good luck with moving in. Yes, good luck and trust me. That journal will be your new best friend. Lucky's like, I'm not so sure. Or second best friend. But now. Baha. You know, I have to have some more coffee because it's so early. <laughs> the little dance. The gal that's a Gallimimus. I have played this demo before, but that is so stinking cute. Okay. J for journal. Okay, so it's morning time. Triassia. Light clouds, lucky needs attention. Zero friends, zero residents. Put some food in Lucky's trough, visit Pebble Plaza, buy her herbivore food from Corlin, talk with Marlo. Find the parasaural offices, ask Owen about the parasaural offices, and then we have to meet a bunch of people. This is the calendar. Oh, we've got birthdays. So they don't call them birthdays, they call them budding days. And I'm not sure why, but it's cute. Triassia picnic. Oh, I did not see that. And then there's a shenanigan. <laughs> okay. And that's Owen's budding day. Jurassic. Triassia. Jurassic. I think there's three. Oh, he has no pen. So this gives us his experience, his care info, his favorite treats, his color, stamina. He's an unlucky helper. Okay, so then we can write down any notes we want in here. Okay, so let's get rid of Jay. Approach Lucky's Trough. Left click. Brings up your inventory. Put in that. Yeah. I love the sounds they make. That is so cute. Okay. Alright, so you've got food. So if we approach... Oh no. Um hit I. Left click it. See it, it tells you Lucky needs a pen and that's why he's unhappy. So then you do I for inventory. You see how it's got the hand on it. Left click it to remove that. Hit your eye again. Okay, we'll pat you. Oh, well maybe we'll ride you. Let's um, let's clean some debris. And Lucky leveled up. Ooh, that was fast. And there's a there's a saddle over here in the wall that we can't move right now. But I am whoops. <laughs> a little wonky. See that? Wow, Lucky leveled up again. You can see up on top the stamina bar is increased. Okay, so we've got, so this is our farm. Looks like we've got some fencing and stuff. We can't pick anything up. So this is all like trash. And I think this bigger stuff and things like this, we're gonna need way bigger dinos. But it looks like our ranch goes way back here. 
and then way back on this side too you can see all sorts of bushes and stuff beyond this hill so it goes that way that way and then that way so we've got a little pond over here this is our storage bin that's an interesting stone sculpture now we're going to go out and explore the world Viridian Valley Discovery. This is so cute. The color palette. There's some Gallimimas and some Stry. I can't remember the last name. But the color palette and how everything is decorated is so cute and cozy. I want to say it's a Stryracosaurus, but I might be wrong. Oh, we've got something glittery right here. Let me get my journal. What I learned in the last few times that I played this is you put the journal in your hand. So we just discovered clover. Um, let me see. They're so cute. So you can just run around and you can collect stuff like these. discovered cranberries and then you can if I go into my inventory and get rid of my journal I can, I can harvest them I would love to be able to explore look how cute look at the little houses over there and the little mushroom rings and the different colors Becky. Uh -oh. They're so cute. Now you can find, from my previous explorations, um, you'll pick up rocks and fiber and plant f and uh, herbivore food as you just run around. You'll see it. So this is blocked, but this looks like it leads to the desert. And you can see some other little dinos over there. There's a white one over there. I wonder if it's rare. And you have a viewpoint up here. I mean, look, look how nice this is. I mean, my goodness. So we've got a desert biome over there. We can't get to it right now. This is only the demo. And they've got a research point up here to overview different things with a little telescope. You see this dark, these dark patches right here? This is herbivore food, watch. It just goes into your inventory. So sometimes you don't need to buy food. And this is the path, whoops. <gasps> right click to dismount. This is a, oh, come on. Left click, and we've picked up a large stream stone. And I need to, whoops. Okay, that's not what I meant to do. <laughs> uh, okay. okay, so we've got some clover. Okay. All right, so inventory. Looks like, and you can see your inventory is kind of, kind of small. Hopefully, let's get rid of my inventory. There we go. Um. I, I kind of hope because of the, these guys are so cute and I can, I can, I'm going to have to look the names up, but, um, because without the names in front of me, I can't say them, but I like to gather a lot of stuff. So, oh, oh, journal. you see that little book thing that means to, to write everything down. So that's a mysterious fragment, mysterious statue fragment. So undo your journal. And we can't go up here yet, but I really want to. Yes, dear, you're a good girl. Okay. <laughs> All right. 
Just those little pebbles, see it just kind of pops into your inventory with a little light. Uh, and look at her, she's adorable. Well, don't just stand there, Gop, and come on over and say hello. Agami. Ah, and are you the weak wee beaky who just moved into that old ranch? Welcome to Paleo Pines. Finally, that place needs a good weeding like a Wooerosaurus needs a watermelon. Wooerosaurus. Okay. I, that's one I don't know. My name's Agami, but everybody around here just calls me Granny. You must be looking for Pebble Plaza. Come on. Let old Granny introduce you to the neighborhood. Oh, uh, if you don't mind, leave your steed out there. Are too many whatnots and whiplets inside to have eager dino tails swinging about. Great galloping galleys. Is that a Parasaurolophus? I haven't seen one of them since I was knee-high to an oviraptor. Huh, what am I saying? I'm still knee-high to an oviraptor, but I make up with it in charm and hair. Anyway, yes, Steed's got to stay out here, even if she is a parasaurol office. Wow. Hold right to dismount. Sorry, Lucky, I won't be long. Don't wander off. Right this way after me. Okay, I was going to say, go. Ooh. Look at this little town. Oh my god. Now, I haven't played Animal Crossing, but it kind of gives me Animal Crossing vibes from having watched a few videos. Welcome to Pebble Plaza. If you don't got it, we don't need it. If we don't got it, you don't need it. Actually, it's more like if we don't got it, you're out of luck. At least until the path to Dapplewood is open again. But that's a problem for another day. We've got enough, and that's enough. Pebble Plaza is a place for gathering and trade. If you got crops, seeds, bits of wood and stone, someone here will trade for it. Plus, you can trade anything for shells here. We use those for sort of a common currency. Go on, here's a few for me in case you see something you like. Don't spend it all in one place. A few, 250? Here, let me give you a quick tour. That's my stall over there. I got seeds to grow just about anything from pumpkins to pineapples. Well, usually, these days it's more like potatoes to potatoes. Slim pickings these days, I'm afraid. Did I mention the path to Dapplewood is blocked? I'm sure I did. Top of the hill, you usually find Pippin, but not today though. It's baking day. Pippin makes poppins. Poppins real. Pippin's real sweet, and poppins are well. I'll let you decide for yourself. Tell you what, you come back tomorrow and meet them. They'll sort you out with a tasty snack. Well, or a snack. Right. See the lad behind me? That's Corlin. If you're after anything, Corlin's the best place to start. He's got everything from flowers to fibers to fiddle dub fib fib dubbers. Fib dubbers. He's not much of a chatterbox, but he's well stocked and cheerful enough. And right over there to my right is Marlo. Marlo, come say hello. <laughs> she is so stinking cute. Marlo and Missy just moved into the old ranch in the valley. I've heard, lovely spot. Pleasure to meet you. Marlo's our woodsman, takes care of the trees around here. And not only that, give the man a stick or a log and you can build pretty much anything with it. Pride of the pines, we call him. Nobody calls me that, but I'll admit I'm pretty good with my hands. If there's something you need, I'll do what I can, but there's only so much I can do without my proper workshop tools. Speaking of which, any word on the path to Dapplewood Granny? Haven't checked myself, but I reckon we'd hear about it if anything changed. Well, anyway, lovely to meet you, Misty. And we've got a quest updated uh, and a journal update. Hey, since you're fixing up that old ranch, I reckon these should come in handy. Oh, a hoe, a shovel, and a watering can. Thank you. Happy housewarming to you. From strong roots come ripe fruits. That's clever. Well, Marlo, just when you, just when I think you couldn't be any nicer, you go and outdo yourself. Enjoy the rest of your day. <laughs> Told you Marlo was a decent chap. Those will come in handy, I'm sure. As soon as I got time, I'll swing by your ranch and show you how to use them. I think I got the hang of it. 
but for now, I'd best be hopping along. Stop by my stall. I might have something for you. What? Okay. <laughs> I love this game. Um, just like abandon me in the middle of a place. Okay, I need I need herbivore food. Hi, Mister. Yeah. Misty, right? I'm Corlin. Pleasure to meet you. How about it? Buy, sell, what's your fancy? Oh, let's trade. I need some herbivore food. Oh, so you just click on it once and you can. I'm gonna get up to 35. 70 shells out of 250. Confirm. Okay, happy to. So you can buy a saddle, you can buy carnivore food, sugar, rice, flour, potatoes. Oh, he's got spring onions. And carrots, how interesting. And pears. Okay. Alright, back. Any problems? Let me know. Alright, so what actually is my um, J for channel? Uh, so this will give you your quests. Um, so we have to return to the ranch. We have to talk to Owen about this. We have one more person to meet and then investigate the path to Dapplewood. Um, Okay, so this is like a collection of different things. This is things that we found. I guess a J. So let's go talk to Granny again. Here. Here's me here. <laughs> Let me give you something to welcome to your Viridian Valley. Just some carrot seeds. Not much, but better than a tooth and a tail. Can't wait for some to reopen my home, though. My garden must be in a terrible state. See anything else that interests you? Um, I, I don't know. Do I? Uh, let's see. Potato and onion. Um, so she gave me 10 carrot seeds. That's a lot. So I'm just going to get one onion and one potato. Excellent taste. Enjoy. Any away you get, you wee cougarette. <laughs> Sure. Thanks, Granny. Alright, so there is... Can I talk to you? Mm. I'm sorry, I thought you were... So... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, bushy. Alright, um, she needs... Oh, she's gonna give me rhubarb? Ten fiber. I need ten as soon as possible. Sure. Alright, she needs... Grandma needs two fiber. Um, Owen wants me to deliver a lucky trinket to Mari. He needs to return it. He's going to give us two crunchy poffin. Uh, rude. Deliver a notebook to Naga. He's, she's little, excuse me. And she needs, wait, she needs more fiber. And he needs wood. Sure, we'll just take all of the quests. Look, he ran right into me and pushed me out of the way. Okay, so... What do I got in my inventory? I got eight wood, I got one plant fiber, and then I got these seeds, and, okay. Sorry, I did not mean to hit my microphone like that. Okay, so Owen, okay, Oops. I mean not Owen, Marlo. Hey there, nice to see you again. Hope you're settling in well. Is there anything I can do? I gotta move my mic. Anything I can do for you? <laughs> Uh, let's chat. Oh, you're here to take the notebook for Agami. Here it is. Thanks so much. Okay, leave. Always a pleasure. Alright, so now you take it across the way to her. Uh, sorry, my head was miles away. What can I do for you, do you for? <gasps> my notebook! Thanks for bringing it. I was beginning to think Marlo had forgotten. Okay, so leave. Don't be a stranger. Okay, so the rest of our quest... Oops, wrong one, J. Um, so we need 10 fiber. Find 10 wood and return to Marlowe. Collect it from, uh, we collect this from Owen and give it to Mari, then return to Owen. Find two fiber and return to Agami, then find nine fiber and return to Marlowe. I don't think there is like a time limit on this. So I think you can, and there is a speed button. If you hit your shift, she'll run faster. Oh, 
Wait, Misty? I was trying to escape. I haven't been by that ranch in years, but from what I've heard, it's, well, let's just say it's a bit of a fixer-upper. Now, I don't mean to boast, but fixer upper is my specialty. Let me walk you home, and I'll see if there isn't some basic maintenance I can help with. Sound good? Yippee! Yippee! Okay. I was trying to make my escape. <laughs> Marlo sells pen decor that can change a biome. Oh, there goes Lucky, cruising around. Okay. Well, this old place sure brings back memories. I feel a little guilty letting it get into such a state. Wait, it was your place? If only you could have seen what it looked like back in the day. Still. Then is for then, now is for now. Let's see how beautiful this place can be again. Well, if you're going to start somewhere, best to start small. Might I suggest we begin with Lucky's little patch of paradise. Let me take a closer look here. In the meantime, see if you can find any old fence posts lying around. I have just the thought. Lucky's standing right by him. Hold the right button. Oh, just hold it and then it pops into your inventory. Pop. And I think that's all that's lying around. There's some light posts too. That should be enough. Step over here and see if you can take out one of those posts you found. Uh, use your inventory to equip it as well. So you open your inventory, left click on it, and you see you got a um, schematic in your hand. Press left click to enter the placement mode. Oops, why don't we start over here? We're stuck with this boulder for now, but at least we can work around it. Move the fence post. Actually, okay, I need to move it there, there. Maybe another post down at this end. Okay, so gorgeous. And now for the finishing touch, every pen needs a gate. Equip the gate. So again, left click it. And then enter placement mode by left clicking. You can use your uh, mouse wheel to scroll. Move the gate. So you use your keyboard WASD to move it. And then, okay. So I, I used the right mouse button to remove the fence post, left to include it. We have a new friend. That's a habitable pen and a job well done. Would your lovely steed care to take it for a spin. If Lucky's happy, then I should say we, then I say we should be too. By the way, there's nothing that says this pen needs to stay right here. Feel free to pop up sticks and drop it anywhere uh, on the property. Easier to move the pen than the boulder. After all, if we could be boulders, I'd be home now. Well, I'd best be off, but give me a shout if you ever need a hand. Bye, Misty. Bye, Lucky. Thank you, Marla. So we've completed the quest, um, but we need to take, here I'm going to fill up, just fill it up 20 to 20 so we don't have to fill it up later. Lucky's super happy now, we're going to pop on, we're going to go see uh, Owen right after I put some stuff in storage. Uh, off. So I'm going to put pretty much everything in storage for right now, except my journal. Um, you just hit I for inventory. Okay. <laughs> I'm a little directionally challenged. Okay. So I'm not going to do any more work because uh, Lucky only has 25 stamina. And it takes it, um, it takes it way down when you start doing that. So if you open your map, the red circle is where you are. This is Owen. Um, so we're going to go here. No, you don't have to stay on the path. Um, trust me, I've investigated. I've investigated a lot. So we're going to go and investigate and along the way and maybe get some more some more 
cranberries. And Lucky should follow us, but if he doesn't, we should always we should be able to go back to him. Look at the little cattails. They're so cute. Oh, oh, there's a pear tree around here. I know there's. Um, let's see, there it is. Uh, right click. Do you see it has that book symbol on it, meaning it's not something that we've. And we've got the pears. Oh dear. Sorry. That's my own. Okay, Lucky would like to have more pen mates. Yes, well. Lucky, you're gonna have to wait, sweetie. Buy for inventory. Okay, so now we've got some pears. So we can just, on our way to Owens, explore a little bit. Oh look, there's a little bench up here. So there's Owens down there. But look how far the valley stretches. It's so cute. This is a really lovely, lovely little world. So this is Owen's little house. But it doesn't look like Owen's here. <gasps> he was here, now he's gone. Oh no, we spent too much time. Well, Biscuit. Okay, so he must have gone to town. Lucky can, yeah, if you hit your shift button, he can speed up a little bit. And we just picked up some stone. <gasps> the bridge. Oh, we can do the bridge. Anytime, see that, that journal thing right in the middle of the bridge where it says Pebble Bridge? So, if you get off, you get your journal. And it's going to tell you about Pebble Bridge. We discovered a historic place. I did not know that. And then just right click it. Yep, there you go. I get confused between my left and my right. No stone. Alright, look, you stay here. I gotta go find Owen, so I'm sure this is where he ran off to. Um, well, maybe not. Oh, but Marlo has another quest. Anything I can offer you today, uh, chat? Take this, you've earned it. <gasps> Thank you. Okay, okay. Well, I don't see Owen. Uh, oh, well, no, see, it doesn't show Owen in here. Where did Owen go? Dude. He couldn't have gone off anywhere. Alright, so Pippin's still not here. Because, yeah, I'm hitting my shift key to run. <laughs> okay, Owen's not here, so I'm confused. Owen vanished. Where did Owen go? Alright, is Owen back? Owen's back at his place? What the actual heck? Is this a bug? Alright, this time. Alright, these little guys are super stinking cute. Okay, this time we're staying on the path. Maybe maybe because I didn't stay on the path. The um are super loud. We run? Maybe we can catch on? There he is. I guess I just, I came in the wrong way, maybe. Oh, hello again. Welcome to my house. Don't mind the mess. I wasn't expecting visitors. I don't mind. Oh, you're too kind. So how's the new house? Have you worked out a plan yet? Um, yes. Wonderful. Plenty is the first step, I always say, and usually the longest. 
Thanks for stopping by. Maybe I'll see you at Pebble Plaza if I can ever finish my to-do list. Um, yeah, Owen. Uh, hello, I'll be with you in a moment. I just finished a huge entry regarding Harasaurus diets. And if I don't write this down now, there we go. Thanks for waiting. Just couldn't risk losing my train of thought. While there's been much written on the subject of dinosaurs, it's still vitally important that we record as much as we can. Really? Mari and I would love to share all our findings in a book someday. Unfortunately, like most projects, most of my projects, I never know when to quit writing. I'll just say out loud, but I believe the mystery of the parasaurial office might just be a brilliant climax. If reference books had climaxes, that is. Well, I think they do. Fear not. Lucky surely isn't the only parasaurial office out there. Uh, well, the NFL evidence points to the contrary. Oh dear, never fear. I have just a snack that will brighten her up. How about a mango? I don't think she's ever tried it before. Beyond dinosaur diets, I'm afraid I'm all out of data. Perhaps Granny might offer some more information. After all, she's lived here the longest. Like I said, just thinking out loud. You must be busy. I'll let you get on with your day. Um, dude, I'm still here waiting to pick up the... Thank you. You're here to take the drink to Mari. Here it is. Thanks so much. Thank you, Mr. Forgetful. Okay, let's try giving her the, the mango. Left click. Press the left click. There we go. It's a little wonky. Ooh, I think she liked it. Good job. Okay, left click. Now we have to find Mari. And she's not on the map either. This is her house. So we're just gonna go. I'm just gonna go up by her house. Oops, some more food. Herbivore food. This is really cute. I love this. I wouldn't want to walk across it, but I love this road bridge. Like I said, everything in here is really, if you like cozy games, this is the game for you. Okay, we've got another observation point around here. And then I want to do my journal because I don't think we've recorded this. Dandelions. Yay! So dandelions, I, if I remember right, usually grow on hillsides, away from the water, while clover, oops, clover grows right next to the water line, or near the water. But I mean, look how cute, I wonder, can I look at this? No, can't interact with it. But look how cute, you can see the valley below. Can't get there, but you can look. This is really adorable. And the music's cute too. They did a good job. Good job, devs. Y'all are wonderful. <gasps> More cranberries. Always use more cranberries, even though. So this character does have stamina. Okay, okay. okay. Alright, lucky. Jill. Thank you. Um, but there isn't any kind of like fall damage. There's nothing to fight in this game. So we're going to go this way. Oh, there's some Gallimimas over here. They do have like wild dinosaurs, as you saw with the, um, strike, strike So these are some Gallimimas. They're super cute. And if you watch Jurassic Park, like many of us have, um, they were the ones that were running from the T-Rex. Oh no, it looks like the path ahead is blocked. This must be the boulder that Granny and Marla were talking about. That's a big boulder. Hmm. I don't think we can get past that, Lucky. Sorry. Okay. So we, we completed, well, not completed, but we did that quest. Um, ooh, what's up here? 
Look at the little mushroom ring. How cute. Okay, I can't jump down. But I can go this way. I'm gonna get my journal out. Wisdom Quartz, a natural feature discovery. There's a dreamstone back there, but I can't get to it. It took me forever to figure out that I was supposed to unequip the journal from my hand before I could do something. Like I said, this is the third time I've played this demo because I always get sad when it ends, so I always play more. Um, and if you see these, these are the dreamstones. Um, sometimes if you go around it, it'll have like a loose dreamstone that you can pick up. So we're gonna go back by the Gallimimus. We're gonna actually look on our map and see if we can see Mary or Mari. And I don't see her, so we may have to find her tomorrow. Oh, there's another observation point. Way up here. Ooh, there's a lake down here. And you can tell that the sun is starting to set. Very cute. Oh, there's some more sparklies. Ooh, another stone. What is this? Amethyst. Ooh. Okay. Oops. <gasps> There's a loose dreamstone. See? Oh, oh my gosh. And some more clover. Now, dreamstones come in two sizes that I've found so far, large and small. So you see it hiding over here. And you can always just put this in your inventory, your storage box. I don't know that there is a, look at this, look at the sky, oh my goodness, sunset's gorgeous. But I don't know if there's a time like um, Dinkum or uh, any of the other games where it'll, it'll put you to bed if you, like you pass out or something. I don't know that there's a time for that. That is really pretty. Went from pink to orange. Oh my goodness. How pretty. Oops, can't go that way. We cannot swim. <laughs> and we cannot jump. I kind of miss that we can't jump. I would like to jump. Hi, little guys. I'm going back on the bridge. I like little fireflies around the lamp, on the round, around the uh, little post. That's adorable. <gasps> oh, more shiny. Shiny. All right, let's go to bed. That is like different flavors. Okay, so <clears throat> I'm gonna clear my inventory out. So we have a pretty big inventory and you can sort it also like by dino stuff, uh, raw materials and resource, food, seeds and fertilizer, tools, etc. And then all categories. So that's really cool. So we're not going to worry about our seeds right now. Um, and we don't need to lock up our dinos um, for the moment. Um, not going to do anything further right now. Look at that. Oh, it's a purple sky now. Oh, oops, sorry. The, the game doesn't like that. Uh, look how pretty it is, though. At some point, when the game fully does release, and I think it's going to be in the next uh, couple of months that it might be releasing. Right. There we go. So you can access your storage here. Let's write in our diary. So that's, that's like saving the game. And then start a brand new day. Can have some more coffee because my throat's acting up. Yep. 
What you doing, Lucky? Oh, what have you found? Oh, it looks like my old flute. Wait, did she used to live here? I used to play this all the time for you, didn't I? You did. Oh my goodness. Well, why not? Let's have a toodle, shall we, for old time's sake? So use your inventory to equip your flute. So again, left click it, and then left click, and press one, two, three, four to play different notes. So as you can see down in the bottom uh, right hand corner, so red is one, two is yellow, three is blue, and four is purple. And play a longer note by holding the key down. And you see it gets bigger. And you can even hold it longer and it'll get even bigger. Keep going. Look at Lucky and play one, one, one to get her attention. Follow me. Okay, and then. Oops, <laughs> sorry, Lucky. And then run off. See if she's, and she is following me. And then play three, three, three. And then look at Lucky and play one, two, three. Play four, four, four. What do you think, Lucky still got it? Lucky's <laughs> like, what? Maybe I never had it. I'll keep practicing. <laughs> and there's our kitty cat. Boots. Seriously, honey. The door is not locked. Bark my branches. Did you hear that noise just now? Am I going flappy? It was you. Well, keep practicing. You'll get there one day. Alrighty, Roo. I woke up itching like an ichthyosaur this morning to plant some seeds. I also literally woke up itching. Mary's spare bed gives me the scritchies. But it'll have to do until I can get back home. Anyway, come on. Come on. No time to dawdle. All right. Come on. Get your hoe out. Okay. Fetch the hoe from the storage where I put it. All right. So I want my hoe. And then I want... Whoops. Okay. So I didn't get my hoe. All right. So we're going to equip our hoe. That handy hoe, handy wee hoe, gets the soil ready for seeding. Very important step. Let's so go on. Take a swing. So I'm going to put everything over here. So again, it's a farming, so you just move your cursor. Looks like you've done this before. Yes, I have. All right, I'm still hoeing woman, so give me, give me, give me a second. And this does take stamina. So you just move your cursor to the plot that you want. <laughs> You're not done yet. You got that watering can Go on, Whip it out. I'm not done planting yet, woman. Jeepers. Okay, so then I want to do my onions. Yeah, and your character will tell you uh, no if you can't do something. Okay, so that's all for the onions, and let's get our potato. So now we need to equip our watering can. But you can't water without water. There's a pond over there. That should do the trick. So you go over here. There we go. And then again, time to get muddy. <laughs> Just left click on it. And like I said, it does use inventory. You're practically a farmer now. A couple of top tips before I leave you to do your whatnots. Number one, don't forget the seeds because nobody's going to buy a patch of wet dirt. <laughs> Water your crops every day. Well, you can skip the rainy ones, but you get what I mean. You might be just surprised to discover what dinos can do. I've lived here longer and I've seen helper sores of all shapes and sizes. I'll bet Lucky's got a helpful skill. Look at those beautiful claws. I bet you're a digger, ain't you? Atta girl. Tell you what, as soon as those carrots are sprouted, come tell me and we'll celebrate you being a fully fledged farmer. You can pick up that speedier than a strikosaurus. 
I'm off to Pebble Plaza. Come say hello soon, kiddo. Okay, I gotta finish watering my crops, Granny. Oh, and I gotta actually... Discover the carrots. Discover the spring onion. And discover the potato. Yay! Let's finish watering what we were doing, yeah? Like I said, just use your WASD keys to highlight, at least if you're on PC, to highlight. I know you're tired, but you still have 25 stamina left, so don't, don't give me that. Oh, right click. Oh, I gotta unequip it. <laughs> Take the hand off it, and then you can access your storage unit. Oh. Okay, not my inventory. You need to access the storage unit. Left click to put your things in there. Now, you, I want to keep my journal and my flute. Your flute is how you're going to um, talk to any new dinos that you want to get as friends. Can't say pets. But you can say friends. Okay. So I also want to clear some more stuff out because Lucky's got 100%. And we need fiber. Okay, so let's see what we've got in our inventory. So we've got seven fiber and five wood. And if we do our quest, which is this, we need 10 wood. So we got that, but we don't have that. So I wonder, Lucky has 20 stamina, seven. If we can do just this. Oh, no, he's done. And we got a carrot seed too. So we've got eight fiber, we're one short, but we can give Granny the two, because poor Lucky's only got five stamina left. So we get one of these quests. Okay, so there's four seasons. Triassia, Jurassia, and Cretacea. Cretacea. Oh, Owen has a quest for us. Hello. I guess we gotta get down. I was just making Bongo and his daily constitutional. So you were taking Bongo for a walk. Mari asked about you this morning. She sounded excited. Excited, no doubt. Another crazy idea. You should talk to her if you can find her. I have no idea which way she went. Cool. But there's some more dino food over there. Excuse us, coming through. Excuse us, pardon me. Free food, always a pleasure. And I'm only just cruising around. Uh, if you look at the map, okay, there's Mari right up there. So we got to go across the bridge. And so this red circle is always going to be us. So she's up there. I think this is where we get our second, um, our second friend, maybe. I guess they're all the same color. Usually there's, <laughs> there's Gallimimus are super skittish. I've been trying to study them, but they keep sneaking off every time I get close. Listen, really glad I spotted you. I was talking to Granny while she told me how to flute. Got a test, got time to test a theory with me. Promise it'll be worth your while. Sure. Zippity, I knew you were keener the moment I saw you. Come on down here and pull out that flute. Okay, you hear those Gallimimuses calling to each other? Kind of musical, right? I want to see what happens if you play a few notes at one of them. Okay, so press. So usually there's a bunch of different colors here. These are all the same color, which is hilarious. Okay, so he's doing red, red, purple, purple. So red, red. 
this one over here. What is wrong with this little guy? He's asleep. I bored him. Oh, red, yellow. Okay, so one, two, three, four. Oh. Each species has its own call. Just listen to it for a moment. Try to mimic with your flute. Oh my god, oh my god. One, two, three, four. This one next to me is bugged. Oh my goodness. Oh no. One, two, three, four. Wow, it actually worked. I haven't fallen this hard all season. The first real breakthrough I've had. I can't wait to die with this. You and I are going to be such good friends. I can feel it. Let's admit, this is amazing, but let me show you how to take it to the next level. Let's see if we can gain its trust. Wild dinosaur lesson two. Every species has a favorite food. Take this spring onion. Now, nice and easy. Just hold it out and see what happens. So I want to feed spring onion. Ah, this one sleeping next to me is so bugged. Oh. Yep, that was not a good thing. Ooh, look at the meter down on the right here. Oh, drat. Right, Gallimimus hates spring onions. I really should write this down. What else do I got? Ah, carrots. Try these. So you just click on the feed and click on a carrot. <laughs> oh, I think that's a yes. That one, that's the one. Looks like you have a chance to make a friend now. Go give it another carrot. <gasps> oh no. Oh, we're spinning. Okay. Okay, friend. Okay. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear. <laughs> Poor Daniel, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Please don't knock me over with your tail. Oh, goody. Oops, I think it got too excited. That's my bad. That's okay. Try and calm it down, yeah? Soothe. Okay, we got that right. Beautiful. Now, the best let you on a trade secret, you've earned it. Have you had one of Pippin's Poppins? They're traditional fare from Pippin's Homeland, delightful little cakes, but honestly, a bit crunchy for my liking. But that's just me. One thing I do know is some of the dinos go nuts for them or wild. Why don't you do the honors? It might just seal the deal. So befriend and use a poppin. It's a crunchy poppin. Come on, you can do it. Before your friend knocks me over with your tail. Pess, press left mouse click to pet your new friend. Oh. What's your Gallimimus' name? Oops. We're just going to say Lucy. Lucy. Oh, I love that dance. That is the best thing. Here's me with years of researching dinos, and you make a friend on the first try. I was just hoping to get close to them, but I waited. This one's ready to follow you home. That food, you think it'll work on others? <gasps> so many possibilities. Like the Corythosaurus. Cori Those guys are Fast. They make incredible seeds. Or dare I say a strike Stryracorus? Stryracosaurus. I've seen those things charge straight through a boulder without even blinking, but they're notoriously hard to befriend. Now you better find this Gallimimus a dreamstone pronto. Every dino needs one. Zippity, this is all so exciting. We tell oh he hears about this. Okay, so we actually already have a dreamstone, but I know that there's one here, so we're gonna take it. And you can see he's following, or she's following us. Dinosaur record has been added to your journal. Okay, so we're gonna uncheck that and close it. And then we're gonna, oh, I think it, wasn't I supposed to give Mario something? Uh -huh. My lucky trick it. thanks for bringing it to me. I was beginning to think Owen forgot. <laughs> okay, so we, we did that quest, but now, we need to um, we need to take Lucy home. And then if you if you stop and look behind you, Lucy's following. So that's a good thing. So we need to go back over the bridge. Oh, you can see she's in the the right hand corner. So you, I, I did not I did not know you can apparently take your dinosaur. Um, like she's she's not rideable right now, but you can apparently take her with you when you go out cruising around. I had no idea. Just get her do the flute thing to follow, and she'll follow you and Lucky. 
I have no idea. All right, so we gotta get off. So I need to equip my flute. So, um, follow me, yellow, and I'll show where where her pen is. And then the blue is, this is your new home. So Lucy has a new home. And she's got, the food drop is filled up with enough for two dinos. Um, let me just do my, so I can pet her. So when you first get your new dino, you can't ride them. Um, they're just, uh, I'm going to pick Lucky's up and move it. I think if you left click, right click. Mm -hmm. So if I right click, so this is Lucky's biome. So you can see I've got the schematic and then I can, here, I'm just gonna move it. And then I'm gonna put this over here. You can't. I can't turn around, per se. Okay, so I'm going to do that. Now, you can upgrade. Okay, now that pulls you out. So I put down her biome, but if you click on it, it says upgrade. So you can upgrade this into the exact same thing. So you'll need five clover, five dandelions, 10 fiber, and 15 wood. Um, I can go get, if I just escaped to get out of that. I should take her, I should take um, Lucy with me, but I'm not going to for right now. Because if you, the more that they cruise around with you, I think the more that they level up. So Lucky is like level four right now. Let's go see what we got. Okay, so Owen, oh, everybody's got quests now. All right, oh, we were, it's a weight off my mind. Uh, I think we can, where is my cursor? There it is. I was saying, Mario, you could invest in some cozier bed sheets. I'm missing my comfort sooner than the path. Um, you'd love, loved Applewood. Uh, you're looking for a parasaurus, huh? I can't say I've ever seen one myself, but my family has lived in the area for generations. Might be someone, something lying around the house that could help your search. Can't know for sure until the path is cleared, though. And then chat. That's a weight off my mind. So I gave her the fiber. Oh my goodness. Alright, so we're going to leave. Don't be a stranger. Um, well, Marlo's not in his stand, but Pippin is. Oh, Marlo's up here. Gotcha. Hey. Hello. Hey, welcome back. I don't think you met Pippin last time. Pippin, this is Misty. Hello, I'm Pippin. Pippin makes poppins. Yes, I make poppins. Poppins are like little cakes. Uh, excuse me, they're not like little cakes. Poppins are a cultural tradition from an age-old family recipe. Tell me something, Misty. How would you describe a cake? Moist, exactly. See, as tradition, poppins are crunchy, dry, salty, chunky, and taste absolutely nothing like cakes. Thank you very much. My bad, it's been a while since I had one and I've forgotten their um, <clears throat> charm. Would you like one, Misty? They're really good, that's what everyone says. Ask Mara, she buys them every week. Um, enjoy, there's no crunch more satisfying than biting into a poppin. That's a hundred shells, please. Pippin, Misty is new to the neighborhood. Okay, 95 shells. Really, Pippin? Fine. I guess you can just have the one. Anyway, that's a poppin. If you need more, Pippin's got you covered. Except on baking days when my stall is closed, that's the day I make more. It was nice to meet you. Oh, excuse me, Marlo. Really rude. Come back here. Marlo. Mm. Oh. What? 
You'll be with me in a moment. What? Excuse me. Hello? Can I talk to you? Who runs this place? <laughs> I'm sorry, what? Um, okay, Marlo is stuck. Oh, there he goes. Oh my god, that was fast. <laughs> hey there, how can I help? Well, you were just up there. I needed your assistance. Between you and me, it's a bit rough with the path to Dapplewood being blocked. I'm doing my best to keep up with the needs of the community, but it's tricky without my tools back home. My makeshift stone tools are really starting to wear out. With all that clearing you've been doing, would you happen to have about 10 stone you could give me? Not right now. I'll just keep working with the tools I've got. Let me know if you find any. That will be happy to take stone off your hands. Um, okay, so. Thank you, Miss. You please accept this and can change. Oh, I got five potatoes. So I gave him wood. So this is, so he's got a gate. He's got a small trough, which we don't need. And then he's got, so we've got 240 shells. I would like to buy some vents, please. Um, 10, that should be enough. Excellent taste, enjoy. <laughs> Take care of yourself. Okay. All right, so our, our inventory we now have, so we almost have enough. So we've got some potatoes, we've got some carrot seeds, we've got three poppins, some 10 fence. Okay, guys. Go up. This is a busy place. My goodness. Oh, you just posted something? Oh, oh, okay. Whoa, whoa. Okay, so we've got more stuff. I need three stones as soon as possible. Except. Study Colophias. 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 Can someone settle a bet? I need details on the. I'm sorry, the ventral epidermal patterning of a wild colophy. Guys, if you can get one to stay still. 13 potatoes and 20... Where is a colophias? Um, excuse me. Excuse me. Rude. Um, cancel. Wait. I don't have any apples. Um, corn. I don't have corn. And I don't know where a coloph colophias is. Um, so we're going to get out of that. Look how far they moved me. Oh my goodness. So we should be able to give Marlo this. I'm back. Yeah, um, you can take this. Thank you. And we got watermelon. Oh my god. Okay. We have watermelon now. What do we have? Eight watermelon. Holy Colino, man. We need a bigger inventory slot. Go the lion. Okay. Oh. There we go. Alright, so do we have to... There's more... What's our... Whoops. J. J is for quests. This is your quest. 10 fiber, 9 fiber. Grow at least 10 carrots. Find 10 stone. Okay, so... Um, we completed 8 quests. All right, so let's go back. Um, I think our inventory is about to run out. I need to put some stuff in inventory. So his stamina is to, oh wait. You can increase your dino stamina with poppins. That was 46 pop. I mean, for, that was 46 poppins. Okay, that was 46 stamina. So I can get a little bit more done. Okay, so we got quest for five. I know, you're down to one stamina, buddy. I'm sorry. So, quest. So, we've got the 10 fiber. I don't think we have both of those. And we don't have 10 stone. We have 
we just have 10 fibers so we can only do one or the other so right now we'll wait um put you back in here with Callie or lucy lucy so you can always walk up okay lucy prefers a valley biome and what does she have Lucy enjoyed being petted. Well, that's good. Now, it does say that she's um, an omnivore, which she eats meat or vegetables, but because she's in with a veggie eater, I'm going to I'm gonna keep her as veggie because if you put carno food or meat in here, Lucky's going to be really unhappy. That's a very happy dance. Oh, good girl. Um, so I'm going to try and make this bigger um, so I can, they're both going to be upset with me for, for picking all this up. Um, so if I go here, left click. click nope um there we go so the pen is bigger now and I can clear all this out eventually and make it much bigger so so what is this this is a large valley and this said that she prefers a valley biome as well um, Lucky would like more pen mates. Look, we are going way as fast as we can. So we're going to go to sleep and I'm going to leave it there for right now. Cause it's already been an hour and 20 minutes. So I thank you for hanging out with me and I will post a continuation of this. I know right now I'm doing like four games. But um, I really, really like this, and the company is coming out, I think, shortly. I think it's in September with a, a September or October for the full game, and I really am looking forward to playing this game in its entirety because the demo just was too short. I really, really like this game. But um, anyway, this has been Paleo Pines. This is Misty Vale signing off, and I will see you next time. Thank you so much. Bye now.